So I learned something recently. You absolutely cannot post ball gag content on Instagram. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? I was filming my OnlyFans content and wanted to post just my face, like the closest up picture of my face possible with a ball gag in my mouth. And like immediately the AI just took it down. Immediately. What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be furthering you along in the story of my ugly month and we are gonna be going to get my lips dissolved. I mentioned it in the last video where I was in the bath, the one where I exposed all the DMs and the blue check marks that are in my DMs. And honestly, I wasn't gonna do a video, but I really kind of want to, because I want to explain why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show you pictures and circumstances and lighting where it's very obvious I need to do this, because I know a lot of you see me in just the best lighting. But now, half the time, I just open my camera to take a picture with Hunter when we're on like a hike or something, and notice how fugly my giant upper lip mustache is and how much I look like a fucking elongated monkey. So, a little bit of background. I got my first set of lip injections when I was probably 18 or 19. That was over 10 years ago. First time I got it, they went down pretty much right away and I went back to basically looking the same. I had no lips, like absolutely no lips before getting any kind of lip injections. But I had always dreamed of the big, pouty, nice border, the, the vermilion border, the little, you know, border that looks kind of like a heart here and then it goes down. I just wanted nice, big, pouty lips, especially my upper lip and my preferred aesthetic. Even though they say it should be 0.75 to one, the top lip is only three fourths of the size of the bottom lip. I like a one to one ratio because I just love big, puffy top lip DSLs so much. So I've been trying to get there over 10 years and a lot of it has just been me being like, can you define the vermilion border more? Okay, can you add more height to the top of the lip? And in doing so, a lot of that old filler and a lot of those attempts that were botched basically just meant that I had a lot of migrated filler right here instead of actually in my lips. And then it also has downturned my lips a little bit. I've also always dreamed of having lips that when I don't wear anything on them, like anything that makes them a brighter color, or if I don't wanna wear lip liner, they just look big and plumpy and perfect and I could just like throw on some sunscreen lip balm and go out for the day and be like, damn, them's is some big lips. But really, the more I've tried to fill, the more they've kind of downturned and just don't look that great. And I don't have that dark of lips in the first place. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I'm so fucking scared to do it. And tomorrow, I believe it is August 10th, I'm gonna be going in at 3 p.m. to get my top lip dissolved. And I am so fucking scared. I'm so scared, you don't even know. Even though the hyaluronic acid is natural in our bodies and the thing that breaks down the hyaluronic acid is also natural in our bodies. I've heard a lot of horror stories of people just completely losing all of the volume in their face and it never coming back or like crazy shit like their faces continued to burn after they were done for days, months, weeks, and I'm just like, what? But then all of the actual academic studies say that that's not possible and the only fullness that you lose of your natural face will come back within 30 hours to a couple days. So it's relatively like a really, really safe thing to do. I have a whole album on Instagram. Here they are, I'll let you look at them for a little bit. That That's my aesthetic, that's what I want, that's the ideal. I basically sometimes have that in pictures, but it's just not defined, requires makeup, Makeup, doesn't look good without makeup and in a bunch of lights looks like this which is let's get to the proof of why I absolutely need this shit anytime I'm outside and the Sun is in the sky that sounded retarded anytime I'm outside and the Sun is high in the sky like on a 2 p.m. on a summer day I'm out hiking I take a picture with the light coming down on me or the light coming from below me it looks like I have this huge fucking mustache which is basically just the light hitting the filler that's out here you know how shadows work right you know like when you have a hill and you shoot that hill from an angle you're gonna have a shadow going down the hill because the upper part is the one that's blown out by the sun and then the lower part kind of just goes down and that's where the shade is you know you've seen hills before you know life all right let's go wish me luck retroactively <laughs> All right, guys, I am here. I am so fucking nervous. Not in like a visceral way though. Like I'm always good at controlling how I like feel. Like I don't feel like the, the adrenaline, the heart racing, that kind of stuff. I just logically, I'm so afraid of like having a bad outcome for this, but this is something that I've wanted to do for so long. And I feel like it'll just improve my aesthetic so much. I don't know if you can tell right now, but like bumpy and there's like a lot of stuff. I've taken my makeup off of my lips too. So you can kind of see like how long this part of my lip looks. I took it off so like when he 
kind of uh, disinfects and sterilizes it. It's not hard to get through like all the makeup because I actually like spray on like the setting spray and make everything stay. And then I had like really, really bright pink lip gloss on for a custom for OnlyFans earlier. Something about it just scares the fuck out of me. Like I don't want the structure of my face to be changed forever or for me to look super, super old or for me to have like super saggy lips. I'm always super hesitant to do anything to my face, especially because I, there's nothing I hate about my face. It's just like little tweaks and changes that I want to make. And it's hard for me to make those changes even though I know they're the right choice because I'm so afraid of making it worse than it was. We are going to go ahead and go inside because I have only about five minutes until my appointment and I have to pee and we're just going to leave you at this before we go into the b-roll portion between here and when I actually do the injection which is the thought that everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Let's go for it. Hi everybody, so my name's Jordan. Uh, I'm a physician assistant that works here at True Beauty by Trevor. So today we have Tara. Uh, so what she wants for her lips, a little bit more height, a little bit more definition. So over time, lip filler can tend to migrate and kind of go in areas that we don't want, kind of like up here and above the lip, and then kind of give an outward projection versus what we want is to kind of flip it up and keep it flat. So with her today, we're going to dissolve it uh, with Hylinex. We're gonna do three vials, uh, which kind of sounds like a lot, but this helps um, break down the filler over time. You're gonna get swelling for a couple hours, and then after that, you're gonna notice it greatly go down. And then we can refill her lips in about a week or so to get her the desired result that we want. Perfect. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Don't stress out about it. You're a worrywart. I, I am. Don't do it. I am. Especially with my face. You know, it's my no, face. No, no, no. You'll, <laughs> you'll do well. Uh, kind of looks okay. <laughs> no. Oh, I just burped. All right, I'm going to try to update you right now. I just left, so I'm swollen and my tongue's also numb because I kind of ate the numbing cream a little bit. So if I have a lisp, but that's mostly why, not because of my swelling. It is a little bubbly. I asked him if that's okay. He said yes. I'm just going to leave it alone and try to be normal because <laughs> it looks crazy right now, okay? That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be pain-wise. That was one of the main things I was scared about was like some intense pain that I couldn't even stand. Like three cc's or what was it? Three vials of stuff in my face. Like this is going to hurt so bad, but it actually wasn't that bad. I'm going to take a Benadryl. I'm going to go home. I'm going to cuddle with my boyfriend. I'm going to freak him out with this big old lip. Maybe give him like a fucked up lip blowjob or something. And then I will update you guys whenever there is a change. And yeah. Oh my God. That was scary. What's up guys. I'm updating you now and I'm not going to show you my whole face. Here it is because I look fucking crazy. I hate the way that I look without makeup and having like eyelash extensions, but I just wanted to update you with what my face looks like. Very small lips, but it still looks like this side might have a little bit of filler in it. It almost feels like the lips are the same size because previously I had so much migrated filler that the actual lip wasn't that big anyway. It was just kind of like bumped up up here and shit. So I don't really feel like I've lost that much of my actual lip, which is crazy. But last night was when I started noticing this change. It's so crazy. Is it not crazy? It's fucking crazy. I don't know. It's weird. Still bigger than my natural lip. And I don't know if I need to go in and maybe get a little bit more. By the way, Hunter did say that the blowjob feels a little different but he doesn't really see much of a difference. <laughs> All right, be back. Hey, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So it's been two days now. I went this morning to get a little bit more of the dissolving hyaluronidase stuff on this side, and I got a little bit more on this side as well, but it felt like this side was still having that shadowy, mustachy effect. This one, you can see there's a little bit of whiteness above the actual border of the lip and then it turns into the mustache shadow. But the reason it looks like a mustache when that happens is because this part is not like the whole thing until the lip. Like shadows happen on lips. The problem is when there's 
a whiteness above the lip, and then the mustache, which looks like literally a mustache is being painted on. So that's what I'm trying to avoid, just having the migrated filler above the lip. It's funny, I thought this would be so much worse. I honestly did. It almost does look like my lips are a little bit bigger now without makeup. I feel more comfortable without makeup because I don't have as much, and this is like the worst lighting. You can still see it's like, you know, shadowy here. I'll update you in a couple days. I have about five to six days until I'm actually refilling. I'll definitely update you before that to show you like the final dissolved, no more swelling, no more bruising result. And then we'll go in and hopefully get dream lips. Now we wait. What's up guys? I thought I would do a quick little actual update on my lips with the regular setup so you guys can see compare and contrast to my older videos and this one. I would say like 99% of the overfill look that gives me the mustache is gone. It's just so weird to see like basically my natural top lip. I have makeup on right now, so it's gonna look a little bit bigger, but it just it just looks so weird. It like throws my face out of whack. It makes me feel like I have a lisp or something because I basically have like no lip. And then I feel like my bottom lip is so big. Hunter's been making forced gump jokes about me. You know, the dude that had the, like the really, really big bottom lip and they made fun of him. I'll zoom in and get a little bit more intimate with the footage so you can see it. We are two days out from getting refilled and I cannot wait. I will take you guys with me. It's funny because he told me that I might see that my lip looks a little bit bigger even. And when I'm looking at pictures where I'm not making any kind of pouty face, it does look like my lip is bigger when I'm just relaxed. Okay, so here we are zoomed in with as even of light as I can make it with having a hundred million windows around me and only one ring light. <laughs> so there's gonna be a little bit of shadowing. The thing that you can get bogged down in when you're doing this kind of self-improvement, the thing that makes a lot of people go too far is when you're looking at your face and you're trying to decide what you wanna do differently, it can often be hard for you to like not start nitpicking and looking at crazy details that like no one else notices. And then you end up overcorrecting and looking like some kind of crazy monster. So I'm doing that right now by being like, well, there's a wrinkle here and there's a wrinkle there. And like, what is that? That, and they're not like actually wrinkles. They're like my muscles moving my face normally and having some kind of shadow because of it. But yeah, so moral of the story, you always gotta be really careful and like actually find a good doctor who is gonna tell you when you're following something that's not a big deal and it's gonna make you look worse in the future. But I am almost done with ugly month. I'm gonna try to figure out why the fuck I hate these lash extensions. I can never figure out a good lash extension set. I try so hard to mimic the fake lash strips that I put on, but for some reason it just always looks really bad to me. And right now they look very jagged because for some reason they just end up jagged. It's only been one one week. One week! Anyway, next time you see me, I will be back in Jordan Christensen's chair getting injected, which to you is going to feel like one second, and to me is going to feel like eternity. See you there. And we're here the day of. Can you, can you please, please? It's not that bright. Thank you. All right. <laughs> it is the day. I'm getting the lips. I have high hopes because pretty much every single picture of lips that the dude has done, they're literally like acceptable at least at minimum. And you know, people have different tastes and different preferences, but there's never been a time that I've looked up an injection artist and been like every single one of these lips, if I had any of them, I would be pretty much fine with it. And there are like a few where like in the caption, he's like, she just wanted something very, very natural, you know? And like, I want something natural too, but I want it to be like the high highest and peak, almost unnatural, like your genetics are just the best thing ever and you got way too lucky with yourself kind of natural. Not like the, oh, it's natural because it's not that great. I'm talking natural like, are we sure that it's real? I mean, it doesn't look fake per se. It doesn't look like it can't happen from nature, but if you have those genetics, girl, you are fucking so lucky. I'm hyped. My first day of re-becoming re myself has gone well. I'm finally figuring out the lashes to make them look more like myself. They're not perfect yet, but I did get my eyebrows laminated and without makeup, it's kind of meh. It's like, yeah, okay, you know, it makes them look a little bit more bushy or whatever, but it's not like perfect. It doesn't look like the way I want it to look without makeup. But then I put on makeup today and my God, with the makeup, the way I usually do it, they look so, so much better. So at least I've upped my look in terms of when I'm doing full glam and stuff. So that's exciting. I'm just gonna head inside a True Beauty by Trevor and meet up with Jordan and start this fucking process. And I, I can't be more excited. Let's go. I gotta pee.
Hello, brand new lips. Oh my god. Okay, so they look so good right now. We're gonna see how the swelling does, and we're also gonna see if we can dissolve a little bit more up here to get this border the same as this one and have it as flipped as that one is. And I might want to add some more later. I think it's hard to talk still. I'm pretty happy with it right now. I'm happy to just have lips <laughs> and take content. Unfortunately, I was instructed to uh, take it easy on the blowjobs and the kissing. Very lame. But there's a little bit more subtle work to be done to kind of make it go like that and pop it out. And then maybe eventually I'll get some uh, lip blush so my lips stay this pink all the time because then I won't have to wear makeup really, which is nice. See, there's line. There's line everywhere. It looks good. Look at that lip. I just ate some nuts. This is uh, a couple hours later. I'm swollen and bruised. Mm, it's nice to have lips again. I can't wait to be able to put makeup on it so it's not just like, I don't know, my natural lips are really not evenly colored so it's often hard to kind of tell how big they are. These nuts are making me thirsty. <laughs> Early the next morning. Good morning guys, it is the day after and I feel like I am pretty swollen. I feel like this is pretty normal for the amount of swelling that I usually have, but I don't know, for some reason I'm just worried that it's not gonna look as good as it did <laughs> the first day. Obviously it's gonna like not be as prominent, but I want it to still be as flipped up. I still will probably ask for a little bit bigger of lips. Waiting game. Two weeks later. All right, so barring any further small little tweaks, this should be the final lip, but uh, very swollen. I just got back from Jordan, and <laughs> the reason I haven't been updating you as much is because I've been trying to prepare or help Hunter prepare and watch Hunter's trial, so that's why I'm kind of going to be short with you here, too. I have to go get ready for it. I'm a little late for it. I'm missing witnesses, but what happened basically was he noticed that here wasn't flipping out as well as he wanted it to because there was still some residual overfilledness left on that side, so I went, I got a little bit more dissolved on this side it went down a lot more and waited a week and then today right before our Yellowstone trip I went back and got uh, the basically the final look the final amount and I am very happy with it so far it looks cool when I smile you can still see my teeth and everything before my teeth were overshadowed and I had to smile really really hard to even see my teeth but now I kind of like the little bit of separation there where you can see my teeth and when I smile everything goes up with it it's really nice I gotta go get ready for trial and then we'll do the final thoughts with the main camera but I am loving that shadow that Cupid's bow oh my god let's see if I can hide the swelling at court okay we are finally going to close out this lip video so it has been I think probably a month or more since I've gotten my last set of injections it's kind of hard to follow the timeline now but basically what I did was I dissolved both sides filled them up dissolved this side a little bit more filled it up and I'm at a point right now where I am definitely very happy that I dissolved and retried again, but am I 100% happy? No, I am not. This is not the fault of the injector, by the way. My right side, for some reason, just likes to overfill rather than flip out. I sit here and play with this ridge, this Cupid's bow ridge that I have now that I love so much all the fucking time because I, I, it's still there after like a month or more. After all the swelling is gone, everything, this side is still perfect. The only thing that's not perfect about it is the size and that is because we don't want to keep injecting into this side and possibly overfilling it more or have this side be way bigger and this side smaller because it just doesn't fill in right. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna try one more time to dissolve and maybe dissolve even more of this side. It could be an anatomy thing, it could be a scar tissue thing, and it could just be like some residual overfilling that's just making it not good. But I'm ready to try to get the perfect lips. Right now I would say I'm about 85 to 90% of the way there. Just want a little bit more size and this side to cooperate and be the same as this side. As you can see right now, it looks pretty fucking good. I'm super happy I did this. Jordan is amazing. By the way, for full transparency, I think I might've gotten a very small amount off of one of the many syringes I bought because I said I was gonna make a video, but I honestly don't remember and it definitely wouldn't cloud my judgment on what I think about Jordan or True Beauty by Trevor because I'm gonna be honest here when it comes to beauty stuff and things that I feel like I need in order to keep up my appearance or my brand, I kinda don't really look at how much it costs. I just do it because I know I can afford it. So in the interest of transparency, I might've gotten like 50 bucks off or I don't even remember. I don't know. I am going to put his links and the links for True Beauty by Trevor, which is the 
med spa down in the description. If you guys want to check them out, fucking everyone loves them here in Vegas. Like literally everyone, every girl I go to, they're like, oh my God, Trevor, blah, blah, blah. And I would highly recommend Jordan if you want the actual like flipped out look without getting the duck lips because he did a good job. Anyway, some of the things that have improved, we're just going to close it out with like a full review of what has improved. These lines here, they're almost gone. I thought they were just accentuated because either I'm aging, which is kind of weird because they're not like actually fine lines. They're just like shadows, you know, shadows from me having big cheeks or it's just because I have big cheeks and I'm always going to have those shadows or I gained weight or something. I don't know, but they're pretty much gone. The line here that I get throughout the night from like my makeup creasing in there is pretty much gone. Having less thickness above my actual lip has really made these lines go down. When I'm relaxing, in the car, I would often look in the mirror and be like, okay, my face is relaxed. Why do I still have these lines? Now I don't even see that anymore. It's like negligible or completely gone, which is amazing. Another thing I really love is obviously, like I said before, this Cupid's bow, the little flip, it's actually like flipped out. It feels like a real lip. When I talk, you can see more of my lips versus before when I was relaxing or pursing my lips, like, ooh, you know, like, ooh. <laughs> like an e-girl or whatever. I looked like I had big lips, but then in videos when I was talking, I didn't really have that much lips because my lip would flatten out because most of it would go up above my lip when I'm animating my face or when I'm flexing my lips basically to make certain sounds with my mouth, AKA talking. I love that Jordan was so easily able to just like even out my bottom lip. Every fucking time I would go in to get my lips done, I'd be like, yo, my bottom lip is uneven again. And then I, they would fix it a little bit and it just, it just wasn't as good. I love that when I'm taking pictures out and hiking, I no longer have any, maybe a slight amount of that weird mustache that I had before. I would take pictures with Hunter and I would have more of a mustache than he does because he's blonde. Now I still wear liner, but I feel much more comfortable not wearing it. And I feel like if this side and this side are the same and I can get just a little bit bigger, I will literally be comfortable filming or doing anything and feeling like, God damn, I have some big ass lips without putting a bunch of like colors and liner to make them look better bigger. Now, I kind of have like ghost lips. Like people have ghost nipples. I kind of have ghost lips. I'm just happy to have my less overfilled, less aging. Cause it really did age my face with those lines and things. DSL lips. Oh, and more things I love from the side and without makeup and stuff, you can actually see part of my lip instead of it just being like a bump where a lip should be. And then it's just like clearly above my skin. Cause one side is still kind of like that, the bad side. And the other side is like, whoa, she actually has lips and it almost protrudes as much as the bottom lip. My biggest suggestion, especially if you're a perfectionist or you have any form of body dysmorphia where you're like, oh my God, this looks so bad, but no one would notice it, is to make sure to weigh the risk of changing it to how bad it is. If it's just like barely anything, but it could be more perfect, the risk would have to be very, very low for me to fuck with it, you know? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip gloss so you can kind of see, cause it gets a little crazier with lip gloss and you can also see like how the light reflects off the lips. I'll like zoom in and stuff. And then of course there was tons of B-roll throughout this. So you probably get the idea of what it looks like now. Now you can see me talking during it too. Oh my God. This is the good side. So yeah, it's like perfectly flipped out. And then this is kind of the bad side. You can see there's no actual ridge as much. And then there's more fullness in the actual lip rather than it just being flipped out and more natural. The fullness is kind of what makes it look more fake and overfilled. Whereas if it just flips out, it looks more natural and more cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this journey. It was fucking scary to go down to small lips, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. As everyone has always told me, all my friends who did this and everything, you're never gonna regret redoing them if you feel like they're overfilled and there could be improvement. All the horror stories you hear about dissolving, it must be someone who's not a professional or something doing it or some kind of weird perceived thing that happened because I'm going on my third dissolve and I have no fears. Also in terms of the pain of dissolving, it's really not as bad as people were telling me. People were telling me it's like unbearable and I'm like, this is just like a slight burn, almost just like how it feels for the needle to be stuck in sometimes. And then it's over way quicker than any other pain. And then you just kind of swell up and you're like, yeah, I look good. And then it just goes down and it's like gone. It's nothing scary. So I will update you guys if I have anything else to say, but I probably won't. You'll probably just get updates on OnlyFans in the form of sexy content with the new DSLs and on Instagram stories and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you follow me on all those platforms. And a big shout out to Jordan at True Beauty by Trevor. And of course, Trevor, the owner of True Beauty by Trevor. So again, not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do this video. I was going to do this video before I even went in there and then just told them about it and I might have gotten something off. I don't fucking know. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my new lips. Feel free to be 100% honest. I know a lot of people are always like, oh my god, they look so much better natural. It's like, bro, then why don't you go look at little lip, little titty bitches if you want all natural hoes? You know what I'm saying? Because if it totally turns you off that someone isn't genetically exactly the way that they were born, that's a preference you can have, but it's not one that I have. So namaste and I'll see you next time.